Hey YouTube, how's it going? Felix here. So you may have seen in my previous video that I've sold my 2022 Subaru Crosstrek Premium with a six-speed manual transmission. I've traded in that car and I've replaced it with something new. Well, you can probably tell what my new car is from the title of this video, but without further ado, I'm very excited to, to introduce to you my brand new car. It is this. This is my 2023 Hyundai, or Hyundai as we'd say in England, Hyundai Elantra Limited. This is my wonderful new car, totally different from the Crosstrek I know, it's a totally different type of car. My Crosstrek was a compact SUV and this is a compact sedan car, but I'll, I'll tell you all about the reasons why I've moved to this car. Uh, the colour, the colour is very, very cool. This is intense blue. It's a very, very pretty colour. Um, I really, really love the colour on this one. So let me, uh, let me jump into the car and let me do a full explanation of why I changed my Crosstrek for a Hyundai Elantra. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's jump inside the Elantra and let me tell you about the story of changing to this car. Okay, I mean, so straight away we're greeted by the gorgeous Hyundai Elantra Limited interior. So this is the Limited, which is the top specification car in the Elantra range. Um, so that means you get it sort of fully loaded. It's got all the technology which you'd imagine. It's got big driver's display here, big screen, widescreen Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It has the all-important CVT automatic transmission. So this is really one of the biggest reasons I moved to this car is because of the automatic transmission. Um, but of course, there's lots of cars with automatic transmission out there. So why the Elantra? Um, yeah, I'll, I will explain. Don't worry. Uh, and also, just to note, this is the gas version of the Hyundai Elantra Limited, not the hybrid version. So this is just the regular four-cylinder, two-liter uh, petrol version of the car, and that's uh, that's what I've got here. Okay, so let me tell you all about why I switched to an Elantra. Okay, so I th I'm sure some of you people out there, some of my viewers are thinking, you are completely nuts, Felix, for switching from a, uh, a car which is eight months old. My Crosstrek was just eight months old when I sold it, 6,000 miles. When, when you're, if you trade a car at that age, you are basically at the steepest point of the depreciation curve of a new car. So that's pretty much the worst time to sell it. You're going to lose the most amount of money, relatively speaking, for the amount of miles you've done. So it's a pretty silly decision uh, for some people. But one thing you probably don't know about me is that I work for a company in the automotive industry. I work in the industry. Uh, I make uh, software for car dealers. So I'm, I have access to various discounts on new cars because of my job. And uh, because of that, I actually managed to get quite a good discount on my Subaru Crosstrek when I bought it um, through this VIP program thing they have. Uh, I managed to save about almost $2,000 off the list price of my Subaru Crosstrek when I bought it. So of course that means when I came to sell it uh, eight months later, I was two thousand dollars better off than uh, you know a regular person would be, which meant that I had you know a, a lot more sort of money equity in my car, and so that the the sort of the loss when I came to sell it was not actually that bad. And also Hyundai, so Hyundai, I also get discounts on Hyundai cars through work as well. So when I bought this Hyundai Elantra, I saved about one thousand one hundred dollars uh, from the list price of the car when I bought it. So if you combine those two things together, that I paid less for the Crosstrek and I paid less for the Hyundai, it actually meant that the cost of switching my car was much lower than I think you might expect, only around sort of in the $3,000 range, which is not really that bad when you consider that the, uh, the Crosstrek had done 6,000 miles, so obviously those miles cost money, and also the fact that the Hyundai Elantra was a $2,000 more expensive car on the sticker price than my Crosstrek was. So effectively, I got a $2,000 more expensive car for $3,000 and something dollars. So you know, in terms of my man maths, I'm sure, you know, it's a, it's a bit ridiculous doing car maths. Um, but in terms of my man maths, I'm pretty happy with the deal. And I think it was a good one overall. Um, I can hear you say straight away, why a Hyundai Elantra? And uh, if I was in market for this sort of car, like a compact sedan, why a Hyundai Elantra? Why not a Honda Civic or a Toyota Corolla or anything like that? Well, the truth is, although I do love those cars, and I think the Hyundai, I think the, you know, the Corolla and the, um, the Civic are great cars. I don't get discounts on those brands through work. So I only get discounts on certain brands and Hyundai is one of those brands and the Elantra is a great product. So that's really why I went with it because it was just cheaper. And uh, you know, the, the Hyundais have fantastic warranties uh, and they have just amazing amounts of technology you get for your money. Like the amount of technology and stuff you get here is just ridiculous. So that's really the main reason why um, I hope, hope that those financials make sense and you understand why I made the switch. Um, but let's talk about now why I actually switched to a Hyundai Elantra in the first place. 
Okay, so welcome to the interior of the 2023 Hyundai Elantra. Uh, it's loaded with technology. It's loaded with with cool stuff. And uh, and yeah, I mean, the, if you remember my previous Crosstrek video about why I talked about why I didn't like the Crosstrek and why I was selling it, um, there were two things re re I really talked about. The first thing was the gearbox. I just couldn't deal with the manual gearbox in lots and lots of stop-start traffic out here on the East Coast in the sort of greater New York area. The traffic was killing me. It was just so much. So I really wanted my next car to be automatic, and that's what I've got. And also, I, was, I sort of complained a bit about the lack of technology in the um, in the Crosstrek. They're just being, you know, I'm okay with it not being the cutting edge technology, but in reality, in the Crosstrek, there was literally nothing. It had nothing at all. It didn't even have a digital speedometer, um, which is something I really wanted. I just wanted a car which was a bit more technically advanced, something which was a, was a bit more fun to drive and a bit easier to drive on the highway, with things like um, you know automatic lane follow, lane keeping assist and radar guided cruise control and those sort of things which just make driving a lot more fun. Um, well, sorry, fun is not the right word, but but relaxing, <laughs> relaxing is the word I'm looking for. Also, things like blind spot blind spot monitoring and uh, you know automatic emergency braking. These things are really really critical, I think, in an area like New York, you know, around here, because there's so much traffic and there are so many crazy drivers. It really makes sense to have those features on your car. So, so yeah, that's really what I wanted, and I found all those features in the Elantra. But of course, you're probably thinking that the difference between a compact sedan like this with front-wheel drive and the Crosstrek, which has a lifted, lifted four-wheel drive setup with a real proper, you know, symmetrical four-wheel drive system, they're totally different cars. Well, there's a, a couple of things there I'd like to mention. Is um, the first thing is that my girlfriend has a Subaru Impreza, so you're not going to be you're not, you're not going to be seeing no more Subaru content on this channel. I'm going to be doing some videos with her Impreza. Uh, she has the same model year as mine, a 2022 model year Impreza Premium. So I'm going to be doing some videos about that. And in reality, if we ever want to go somewhere and it's really snowy and really bad outside, we can just take her car because it's much much better in the snow than mine. Um, and also, you know, that was a slightly redundant, in my opinion, having two cars which are basically the same because the Crosstrek and the Impreza are basically the same car underneath. So, uh, so I think it was good to have something different. And this uh, this Elantra, I found that really what I do most of the time out here is just drive on the highway, long distances, a few hundred miles on the highway, just going around the state of Connecticut where I live. Um, and 99.5 percent of the time, the weather is fine, and there's no need to have a four-wheel drive car. In fact, you're just burning gas for no real reason. You might as well have a much more efficient front-wheel drive car that's better on road trips. So that's really what I've gone for. I think you know we've got. Between us two, my, my, me and my girlfriend, we've got a, she's got a four wheel drive car, which is great in the snow. And I've got a two wheel drive car, which is great for road trips and long distance travel. And I feel like that makes more sense to me, to be honest. And when it comes to sort of cheap cars, which are loaded with technology and are just so smooth and so relaxing and so easy to drive on the highway, I really don't think you can beat the Elantra because this thing is just a monster for uh, for driving on the highway. It is just so beautiful. Um, I don't really commute for my job, but if I did, I'd be so happy commuting in this car. We've also got the lovely sunroof up here. So, uh, you know, I guess I'll just show you a little bit of the Limited. The Limited has just got so much cool stuff on it. It's got, you know, all this technology here. Very responsive screen here and beautiful Apple CarPlay Android Auto, as you'd expect lovely separated heating controls which is very important to me we have the gearbox here yes it is a cvt but it's such a well-tuned cvt i don't think many people will even notice it shifts like a dct even though the shifts are just programmed into the into the um, cvt gearbox but it does feel very realistic and it feels beautiful We've got the leather wrapped steering wheel. We've got all the, the sort of the technology controls here for your radio and music and over here we've got the controls for your speed for your um for your cruise control and all that stuff. We've got, of course, active cruise control with uh, distance following and lane keeping assist. So this thing will not only keep you in lane, but also steer you actively to maintain its position in the center of the lane. We've got a huge driver's display here with everything you could want in there and so much more. We've got lovely blue mood lighting, which I love. And uh, of course, the Limited is the top spec. So it comes with these sort of very nice, uh, I imagine they're sort of fake leather, but sort of pleather seats, which are very, very comfortable and gorgeous. The driver's seat is fully electric which is very, very useful. Although note that if you have the gas version of the Elantra, uh, the gas version of the Elantra Limited, I should say, not the hybrid version, there are a couple of little things you miss. And one of them is the ability to switch between the two modes here. So you don't get the uh, the one and two driver profiles on the gas version of the Limited, but you do on the hybrid version of the Limited, which is a pretty weird, pretty weird little thing. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's just a lovely little car, to be honest. I'm very, very happy with it. And I think it's it's going to stand the test of time and be a super, super sort of long term, reliable car. Of course, the Hyundai's have that fantastic five year warranty on the on the sort of for most things, and then 10 year warranty on the powertrain. OK, let me just jump into the back and I'll show you the back seats.
Okay, so let me show you what it's like in the back of this very nice Hyundai Elantra compact sedan car. Uh, so here we go, here's the opening. Very, very nice and spacious to get into. And this is this is my seating position here. Uh, if you can see that well enough, this is my seating position here for myself in front. So this is my, that's my position there. And if you can see the amount of, of legroom I have here, it's actually pretty good. Like this is my seating position. So I'm six footer behind a six footer. So I've got at least maybe three inches of space there uh, between my knees. And in terms of my head, if you look at my head here, you can see that I've got like just about enough headroom, just. It, my head is like almost touching the ceiling, but it's not. And it's actually very comfortable. Um, uh, this is a lovely, lovely seating position. We've got very, very nice center armrest here, which is gorgeous. And, uh, and just a very, very spacious and sort of calming and relaxing interior. I really, really love it. And um, I think in terms of, for a compact sedan, apparently, apparently this is compact, um, it's pretty spacious. Okay, let me show you the trunk as well, because I'm very impressed with that. Okay, let's take a very quick look in the trunk of the Elantra because I am so impressed by the size of this trunk here. Um, I, you know, the, the, you can see my bags here on the left-hand side. You can see how big this trunk is. It goes back so far in here. This is, I honestly can't even reach the back of the trunk with my, um, with my arm if I sort of lean in. You have to lean in all the way to reach the back. It's such an impressively large trunk for a, for a car of this size. It is much, much, much bigger than the trunk of my Subaru Crosstrek, like way bigger. Uh, obviously not in terms of height, so you can't stack things as high as you could in the Crosstrek because it's just not as a higher car. But in terms of depth and overall space, definitely bigger in my opinion. So I'm very, very happy with the increased luggage space that I get by switching to the Elantra. Okay, so there it is. There is my 2023 Hyundai Elantra Limited with the gas engine. I'm so excited to introduce the car to you and introduce it to the channel. You're going to be seeing lots more content on this car, I hope. <laughs> you know, hopefully, touch wood, I don't end up chopping the car and changing it again. But I think this one is a keeper. I'm really, really happy with it. And I hope you're excited too to see more content on this car. As I said, Subaru content on this channel is not gone forever. We're going to be doing more videos with my girlfriend's Impreza, which is a 2022 Impreza Premium. So there's lots more content coming for Subaru and for Hyundai and for loads more car content coming too as well. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in more car content, then please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Uh, I'm always producing new stuff and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.